Alrighty, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Talk About Transformers. It has been a minute, hasn't it? Um, my work schedule is constantly changing, and this time I went from a morning schedule to an afternoon schedule, but with a twist, I am working until 1 a.m. my time, four days a week, so I've just been tired uh, a lot in the morning, don't want to get up, want to stay in bed until it's too late to film things, but hopefully that is all going to change uh, right now, uh, starting with this video. Instead of doing a proper review, what I want to do first is uh, just kind of go over all the boxes for the things I still have to review, uh, so that way it'll be a little easier, a little quicker to do the reviews, and so you guys can kind of see what's coming up. This is in no particular order, uh, other than maybe the size of the box, and with that out of the way, we'll go ahead and start taking a look at these bad boys. Um, the first guy that I have a box for and I haven't reviewed it is the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Wheeljack. There you have the uh, render of the figure, uh, Studio Series 81, Wheeljack, 8 Plus Hasbro Transformers, Generations, Takara Tomy, Transformers Bumblebee on the top and the top of the front. On this side you have the Autobot logo with the render of Wheeljack and the Generations logo down there again. Here on the back we have your warnings and things, your one second bio blurb. Uh, it shows the backdrop. It shows the two modes, 31 steps. Uh, you've got uh, the scene he's from listed here and big screen inspired as usual. Here on this side you have Studio Series 81 with a close up on that render with Wheeljack's face and then Deluxe Class in multiple languages. So if you understand these you might not understand me and that's pretty much it except the bottom which has more words and warnings and things. So that's one box done. We're going to hear a lot of that sound today. For the next guy uh, in the Studio Series line that I have to do uh, with a box is uh, Transformers the Movie Perceptor. Uh, much of the same things. You've got your artwork of uh, Perceptor as opposed to a render, kind of, like a CGI render. Uh, he is number 86. Uh, you've got that render again. 86 instead of the Autobot logo there. Just kind of pointing out the differences at this point. Here on the back you have the same stuff, uh, different one. Oh wow, his bio actually kind of looks a little long. And then he's got uh, three modes. He's got his robot, his microscope, and then he's got the science blaster up here. Uh, so we'll be showing that off. Uh, Battle of Autobot City is his background. And he is from Transformers the movie. And then on this side you have this stuff. And on the bottom you have this stuff. And that's it for Perceptor Spots. Moving right along here, we have the Buzzworthy Bumblebee uh, Toy Color Pterosaur uh, with a lot of ties in it. It's not his ties, it's uh, also ties for someone else down the list that I'll bring up when we get to it. Um, I didn't get the original uh, Show Color Pterosaur, I didn't feel like ordering it. Um, and then this guy came out and I was like, oh look, I can get Pterosaur in stores uh, at the price I basically want. And so, I did. This is the evil Predacon Pterosaur uh, from Buzzworthy Bumblebee. You've got a little artwork of his dino mode there in the toy colors. Transformers up the side. Legacy on the top because this is uh, a legacy character in the Buzzworthy line. I guess. Um, this is the first time I've got a Buzzworthy figure in a while, so uh, I don't know how long that's been going on. We've got some artwork of some characters here on the side. Uh, almost looks like some Cyberverse, uh, like at least the Optimus does. And then you've got a nice RC. Then on this side you've got Transformers Legacy again, and there's Pterosaur in his robot mode. And there you have him in his modes in product shots. 22 steps, evil Predacon Pterosaur, Transformers Legacy. You've got words and things down there. Uh, and then on the bottom, more words and stuff. So we'll go ahead and call that box done. 
Next up on the docket, we have our first Velocitron figure. Um, I was originally just going to get one, but I ended up with two out of the three I wanted, with a fourth as it may be if I ever decide to crack down on it and get it before it ends up uh, leaving shelves. But I only have two for now, this being the first one, and it is clamped down. So there you have the box, you've got the artwork. Um, the speed planet symbol, if I'm not mistaken, go ahead and correct me in the comments, but uh, I want to say that's what that is. I haven't seen a cyber key in a while in person. Uh, Transformers a Diaclone Universe Clampdown, so I guess this is based on one of the original uh, colors for the uh, Lambo mold back in G1. Um, I don't even know if Clampdown is his name, considering what happened to DK Duke Guard. So it might just be a Diaclone color and they actually gave it a name. Um, now you've got the Velocitron Speedy F500 collection up there with his vehicle mode render. And then you've got Legacy. Uh, so this is another Legacy subline thing. Speed Planet symbol. Again, there's the actual image of the vehicle. Uh, at least a render of the toy at the very minimal. You've got artwork of the character there. You have the alt mode and robot mode pictures with 16 steps, Diaclone Universe Clampdown, and then you've got words and things and things and words. And then on this side, it is some Cybertronian with Clampdown kicking his heel into the symbol with the Speed Planet symbol. And then he's got his uh, light bar and gun turned into an axe, which I actually do do. Uh, with uh, my red alert so that's fun that it's on the box and then he's got his little missile gun on the shoulder and stuff so uh, and then on the bottom you've got this so if you're trying to find cosmos or something like that like I am and you're looking on the shelf and you see the bottoms of boxes look for a blue box with that symbol and it might be what you want and that's it for his box moving up a size class and with severely damaged packaging, but the figure's all right, trust me, trust me. We have Voyager Class Override. Um, this box is banged up to all, heck, it looks like an Amazon driver delivered it. But uh, there you've got the box, pretty much the same stuff, just bigger and with Override on it. You have her in her robot mode. Um, they've got artwork instead of like a, a show render, which I think is a missed opportunity to bring back those cool show renders. You've got the artwork of the car here, getting slightly bigger, so I'm gonna raise uh, the camera slightly higher. And then you've got the render or photo of the uh, vehicle mode there on the top of the box on the side. There is override again. And on the back you have her in her robot and vehicle modes 19 step conversion uh it's all bent as hell cybertron universe override and then you've got the warnings and things and then on this side it's just that cybertronian and she's not kicking her heel into the logo this time then on the bottom uh, again blue box big old symbol look for that on shells if you're trying to find a certain guy that is it for the voyagers boxes now coming up we have leader class boxes um a couple of these you are probably actually all of these you should be expecting at in for one reason or another but first we have the box for slag um so we'll go through that studio series box so we're not going to go too big on it but there is uh, excuse me and there is Slag in his dino mode with Daniel on the top, Transformers the movie, Dinobot Slag, and Daniel Witwicky, Studio Series 86-7, for there's your 07 there, and then there's Hasbro, uh, I'm hoping I can find Daniel, I'm pretty sure he's just slapped in my parts for weapons bin, and you got Transformers on the side, you've got that artwork again of Daniel and Slag and then here on the back you have your words and backdrop picture and uh, really short bio for two figures uh, you've got dino mode and robot mode and Daniel 
you've got 20 or uh, sorry 32 steps for the conversion I started reading it before I saw the three uh, mockery of justice is the scene that about slag and Daniel with wiki and big screen inspired and then on the side we just got a closer closer up of the thing and this one is leader class in multiple languages and then on the bottom barcodes and things and stuff if you hear barking that's my corgi he and my father-in-law is probably playing with him in the living room all right next up for studio series leaders we have grindor and ravage um aka dirty blackout uh is what i've been calling him because i like blackout so you've got grindor and ravage from transformers revenge of the fallen studio series 73 there you've got the artwork um Transformers Generations. Like I said, we're gonna kind of breeze through some of this stuff. We've got the slightly more close-up artwork, and there you've got Ravage down there. Was he on the front? No, he was not. So there's Ravage. He's the new uh, artwork there of Ravage with Grindor. Um, and I guess they just didn't want to repack in Scorponok, so they tweaked it a little bit and threw a Ravage in, because they're from the same movie, I guess. Now you've got the words and things and you've got the little bio there with the backdrop you've got the helicopter mode you've got the robot mode you've got the ravage mode uh, the force fight is the scene and you've got big screen inspired and then a closer closer up of uh, dirty blackouts face with the leader class again and back to the front down to the bottom barcodes and words and whatnot and that's it for that Another reason I'm doing this video is so I can finally, I only keep like masterpiece boxes so I can finally get rid of some of these. Alrighty, and this is a box that we've seen slightly before. Uh, here we have the Legacy Leader Blitzwing box. Uh, we're going to be doing him next and then the other ones in no order in particular. Uh, but we'll get to them all. Here we have Blitzwing's box from the front. Uh, there he is in his robot mode, his tank mode, and then the jets peeking out up there. Uh, he is Blitzwing, he is from Legacy, he is a leader class in multiple languages. I want to say that at least the Voyager Velocitron had uh, it here too, I just forgot to mention it. I saw it and I was like, oh, too late, didn't mention it, clamp down. So here you have that uh, kind of artwork on the side of them all. And then on the back, uh, it shows you, oh, hold on, I'm going to hold this a very special way. It shows you pictures of the tank and the jet and the robot and nothing else of interest up there. 41 step conversion. I don't know if that's total or no, 41 to the tank, 32 to the jet. Okay, and then we'll go up so that way we don't see anything that doesn't exist in this box. And there you have... A little code for some reason with warnings and things like that and then on the side there you've got his tank again there you've got his jet again and on the bottom you've got barcodes and whatnot and on the top just a big old legacy and that's it for let's when we're going to throw his block so I need it uh, and then we're going to take a pause because I forgot a box so I will be right back all right back to the fun for the first time ever on the channel, we have a Commander Class figure. Uh, I never got, well, okay, I never saw a uh, Jetfire. And um, I got, saw a Skylings, and I got it from my brother, who reimbursed me. And then I never saw a Rodimus, but I really wanted the Motormaster, as you know. So I was glad my friend messaged me and said, hey, there's one here. He didn't need it because he ordered his online, and so my wife, excuse me, went and picked him up for me. Here you've got him in his vehicle mode, in the Legacy Styles, uh, Decepticon Motormaster, Commander Class, in multiple languages. And on the side here, you have the mural, again, of the Wave 1 Decepticons. And here on the back, you have Manosaur in his or Motormaster in various stages. So we'll go ahead and take a look. You've got his truck to robot, which takes 23 steps to convert. Uh, that's just the cab with words and stuff below it. 
Uh, you've got the truck and trailer, which takes 23 steps to convert into the uh, base mode. Uh, now, if that's the same 23 steps as this, or if it's you take these 23 and then there's 23 to convert the trailer, but I really don't think there is. And then for the trailer and truck to become uh, the skeleton of Menasaur, it's 45 steps. Um, this is number five of five for Menasaur. Uh, and then you've got one of five, which is Dragstrip, who I have. Two of five, which is Wild Rider, who I will get. This was the guy that I was the most worried about finding and getting. The rest of them, I know Wild Rider is kind of rare right now, as the, as of the time of recording this, he hasn't been seen in too too many stores, but he is coming. And with how many drag strips are on the shelves right now, um, I'm thinking it'll probably be uh, um, a good chance that we'll get him. I'm sitting here for a moment. I'm getting a phone call in, and. Uh, I want to make sure it's not going to skip. Okay. Um, I don't know if that cut out or not. Uh, if it didn't, you know what's going on. If it did, uh, I got a phone call. So I was waiting for it to go away. Uh, but yeah, Wild Rider should be able to find him pretty easy. Here he is on this side. There's a picture of Menasaur in his combined mode with his gun shooting the ground. That poor, poor Earth. And then here's the bottom with the barcodes and the words and here's the top with Menasaur's truck Motormaster's truck and Legacy and that's it for this and Commander Class is not Masterpiece so Commander Class gets thrown but unfortunately that's the last box for the day because we're starting to get into boxes I'm going to keep uh, next up I've had these for a while They've been in size comparisons, at least several of them have. I just haven't reviewed them yet, but we've got this triple pack of KO New Age Seekers. Uh, change to Jet Mode, Reborn. <clears throat> You've got Skywarp, Starscream, and Thundercracker. Uh, aircraft Battlers, new version. And then on the side, you have artwork of the characters. Aircraft Battlers, DFO-6 Reborn. And then on the back, Aircraft Battlers, Deformation, new version. And then you can see, they really like that. Oh, okay, and then there's blue, red, and black. I don't know if that's supposed to be their names. Evil Energy, DFO-6 Reborn. And then on the side, you've got the same kind of image but with the toys themselves instead of the uh, the artwork with reborn a very a lot of reborning here and then you've got the top with deformation evil energy reborn you guessed it and then on the bottom you've got a warning and a sad baby and this is for 15 and up and things like that <clears throat> so those are coming at some point um, here's another box that I've had for a while, and I'll go more into it in the review, but this is the, uh, KO upscale of the MPM Starscream mold in the, of the box, I'm assuming, just like my Dragoon box, they didn't actually create a new box art for this, but this is the Revenge of the Fallen paint. Why does that look so crooked? I swear to God, I had this angled properly last time I used it. Well, well, I guess an earthquake hit my house shifted. But here you have the box for Earthquake uh, T-10 Star Sky Wings and some uh, mm, houses. Mm, no, it's it's some kind of oriental lettering that I cannot read. On the side, it is empty, save for the very top here. My, uh, my camera is up as far as it'll go without extending the leg leg, so I'm just going to angle this. Pardon my angling. But it's just a warning for the age level. And the back is the same as the front. And this side is completely blank. There isn't even a warning. There's just the black stripe that runs around the box. 
Uh, uh, okay, the artwork is the same, but down here on the bottom, the words are in different places because the stripe literally starts here. Ooh, that's this. Metal deformation specifications. Colors and contents may vary from illustrations. Yeah, so uh, they were planning on probably making a couple of colors of this guy, so they put that on the box because this is more of a just uh this almost looks like a gray prototype resin dude just so they could show the you know the mold um on the box and then do with it what they will and so that's that the bottom is empathy and the top is empathy so that will be coming and the delay on it will be explained in its video we've got two more boxes left and we've got the biggest box and then we've got one that's a little smaller but it's the one that I'm excited about the most so we'll go ahead and take a look at this first Ooh, okay. we have a KO of gravity builder here uh, so there you've got an artwork of devastator this is like the little con symbol they use if I ever get some Decepticon symbols that are the right size I'll just boop. Uh, MBK devastator uh, this says TF Engineering, uh, and then down here in the corner, Robot Mode, Construction Truck Mode, Combination Mode. So they do have three modes. And then if I can spin this to the side here, we'll go ahead and actually lift the camera this time. So you've got hook. And I want to say that's Scrapper. And there is uh, another one. I don't know all their names, I'm sorry. And now we can set this down. Uh, I, uh, this, this is the equivalent of Scavenger on the Studio Series. This uh, here, I'm gonna have to back up. Now I'm gonna have to like lower it. There's your equivalent of uh, Skipjack or Rampage. There's Mixmaster, I know Mixmaster's name, and then that is Long Haul. And these are their robot configuration pictures. Then here on the back, we'll raise up again. We have Long Haul with both his modes. Uh, excavator guy with both his modes. I'll have to watch Stu's review and just use the names they did on the Generations figure. That's, that's Scrapper his robot alternate modes we've got hook see I know hook because of the Sioux review I only made it last time I watched it I made it from uh, scrapper to hook and that's why I know and then you've got this guy and then you've got mixmaster I know mixmaster it's easy to remember because he mixes things in that barrel and then you've got some more Asian lettering you've got TF engineering again and then a big old picture of the Devastator that's inside. Oh, this is big and heavy. All the guys are in here right now. So it is not empty. Uh, it's the only box that's actually not, that's actually got figures in it. Uh, there you've got them as vehicles. And we'll just kind of pan down to the bottom here. There you go. And then we're back to this side on the front. Alright, I'm getting this out of the way. It's just so big. Uh, where are Over here. Okay. So, we're going to have some reviews for that guy coming out. Um, if I am not mistaken, that is going to take up uh, like 10, or no, not 10. What am I thinking? What, what am I saying? Seven whole reviews to do that guy. One for each character and one for Devastator. So I will be, uh, from here on out, when I do combination combiners, uh, the combiner is going to get its own video. So like when I do Metasaur uh, in Motormaster, that whole thing, I am going to show off Motormaster in his trailer and vehicle mode, show off Motormaster's uh, cab as transforming into the robot, show the trailer transforming into the base mode, and that's it. If you're disappointed, I'm sorry, but I'm going to save the skeleton transformation for when I have 
all the guys. But we're now at the final box of the day and the thing I'm most excited about MPM 13 Blackout. Uh, there he is. There's his box. Let me raise this back up. I lowered it because I forgot his box is, is up and down. Um, just bringing in another movie masterpiece box here to show you what I mean. These ones are like horizontal oriented. Blackouts is not even like the Bumblebee movie Prime and the Ratchet. Um, oh, uh, they're up and down too. I have them stored sideways, so I forgot. Oh well. Carrying on then to the box. Here we have Blackout's box in my freaking light source. It's layering on that real good. Uh, you've got 2007 to 2022 Transformers 15th anniversary uh, for the movies. You've got Masterpiece Movie Series. You have Blackout in his robot mode there with some of his weapons. Takara Tomi over here. And then coming down here for an easier look, you've got his helicopter mode there. His uh, I'm going to say the name when I get to the back so I can read it because I forget. I will pronounce it wrong if I don't. And then you've got a little Scorponok here. Transformers MPM 13 Decepticon Blackout and Scorponok. Uh, he is a Decepticon after all. Uh, 8 plus Hasbro. Uh, on the side you have images of the character up at the top. It says Decepticon Blackout and Scorponok again. And then you've got Blackout's torso with his helicopter with a blast effect. Yes, this guy has blast effects. I'm pretty sure they're still in the box because I don't use them. And then we've got some features on the back as Masterpiece are one to show. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look at these. Try and angle the glare. You've got that 15 again. So over here it shows you storing Scorbinok on his back and in the little hatch that uh, comes down uh, like it would the ramp and then Scorponok there as a little figurine with his tail you have black out there with all his weapons doodadded up um, well some of them he's got his blade and his uh, chest gun and his mini his mini gun over here with some blast effects but he has two mini guns so there's not one on this arm and that shows here You've got minigun and minigun with the different blast effects. Uh, I don't have the original MPM Starscream anymore, uh, so I'll have to look and see on the KO, but I think this might be the same minigun that came with Starscream, just molded in this uh, gunmetal plastic. I don't remember what Starscream was just molded as. <laughs> and then you've got uh, Scorp or blackout in his helicopter it is a Sikorsky see I always want to say like Skigorsky or something weird like that Sikorsky it is a Lockheed Martin company which are the people who make like the Raptors and the SR 71 I want to say it's 71 Blackbird um, and then it just shows like his hand there I guess they wanted to show you that the wrist could swivel because the studio series original blackout couldn't and then it shows the gun plugged into his arm and there you've got it. He is a Sikorsky MH-53 Pavlo helicopter. And then on the side of the box, oh good, I can turn it sideways. Here you have the helicopter and Scorponog. And more of the same images here at the bottom. You have the barcode and words and things. And here at the top, we have Transformers Masterpiece Movie Series with a little image of Scorponok there. And again, the 15th anniversary. Um, and the reason I'm so excited about him is if you don't know this already, Blackout is my favorite movie Decepticon. A large portion of that has to do with the Soxan attack scene and his, uh, in general, just how uh, imposing and, and stuff he was in the first movie like Decepticons as the movies went on started looking like chump change they just got killed left and right but it took so much to take them down in the first movie and Blackout uh, he had been getting shot constantly 
got hit with some uh, missiles and stuff from F-22s and then got shot in the waste region by a guy on a crotch rocket. So, you know, he wasn't having a good day. But I love Blackout, so I'm really excited for this. Um, but there are things that this figure does that actually pushed it up into my number one favorite figure slot, believe it or not. Uh, and I'll go into that in the review. But that is it for all of the boxes that I have on hand, so I can throw a bunch of these out. And uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to those reviews. Um, sorry for the delay, but I'm hoping that if all goes well, um, it's going to be a busy weekend, Labor Day weekend, but either sometime this weekend if I make time and I'm not doing game stuff, uh, then I will go ahead and start by filming Blitzwing's review and go from there. Um, I might get all the deluxes out of the way because they'll be faster and easier to do, get me back into the swing of things. Um, I really, really want to review Blackout, but he might be uh, the last one I do. It is September. I started the channel uh, in October or last year. So I was thinking about for my anniversary doing my favorite figure and a, re a remake of my original first review, which was the Core Class Rat Trap, just like a little double review thing. So uh, I was going to do Black Apple Optimus, but now that Blackout's here and he's my favorite. Maybe I'll put him up there instead since we're so close. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. I hope you enjoyed all these boxes. I hope you're excited that I managed to make my comeback and hopefully I can stay back this time and I don't get shifted around for the 11 millionth time since uh, I started working where I do. Just things are happening. I'm not mad about it. It's just uh, it's hard to work with. Oh, and in case any of you are wondering, I do know about the DNA design kit for Metasaur, uh, Motor Master, and I'm thinking about picking that up as my first uh, add-on kit, so we might have a, our first add-on kit review for the channel whenever that comes out, uh, and I'll show you in the review, I'll show you all the stuff it does for whatever modes we've covered, so if it doesn't come out until after we get a... Uh, um, because we've got Wild Rider uh, being released. We've got uh, Dead End. Dead End's revealed and reviewed by people who have stolen copies. And then we're just waiting for a uh, breakdown at this point. So if the kit comes out after those, then we'll be able to show the whole kit caboodle. If not, um, we'll show off in the kit video what it does for the modes I've covered. And then in the Menasaur review, uh, we'll show off the rest of it at that point in time. We'll show off Vanilla Menasaur if we can, and then we'll show off Kit Menasaur, because I don't think any of it's replacement stuff uh, because of the uh, parts-forming nature of the combined trailer. I think most of it you can just kind of swap in and out as you transform it. So, with that being said, I will go ahead and stop recording this now because it's already made it past a half an hour and i hope to see you guys in the blitzwing review it's good